fingertips the art to discover If I would have had the worthiness to be the perfect lover Would you stay under the willow tree when I ask if you would be This is an attempt of me trying to have a productive week and you'll be watching me kind of being realistic because I don't think it's possible to be productive like 24 7 so I'll try to be as honest as possible and <laughs> as transparent as possible <laughs> if you don't know me my name is Beza I make videos on YouTube and Instagram and I like to share my stories my experiences around the city or with people because I think I am a good storyteller. I don't know, you be the judge, okay? Since it's not easy for me to put myself together every once in a while, that's why I wanted to motivate myself by creating a video, by showing you how it could be a little bit difficult to be productive, but it is so beneficial for your soul, for your, you know, mind. I'm so tired. So every week, four days of the weekdays, I have to go to school because I'm here with a student visa. So I have to maintain my student um, visa things, I don't know. Our teacher said there is no lesson, so we're going to the museum.
I've been giving lessons since 7 a.m. this morning and it's almost 1 p.m. I've given almost five lessons, four and a half lesson, and I am so tired. I've been awake since 6 a.m. Usually I would never take this many lessons back to back because it makes me really tired and question my life. So today I was like, you know what, you need money and these people are depending on you to learn English. So I sat down get everything together and gave five lessons back to back and now I'm racked. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a nap because this is productive. It helps my mental health. Let me admit something. Um, taking a nap uh, in the middle of the day was a mistake because my eyes puffy and it took me an hour to pull myself together. Now, um, I decided to do something I've never done before. I got myself a nail appointment. I've never done manicure or gel nails or like nail or anything at all. They're really bad, really bad. So I thought maybe it could be a nice adventure for me. I don't know. Get my nails. I love them. Oh my God, I love my nails. They're so pretty and the woman who took care of me was so sweet. It might just drop. I mean, when you look at it, it's not a big deal, you know, it's just nails, but since I've never done this before, it kind of makes me feel good about myself. I feel really bonita. I have bought a couple of stuff that I liked. get motivated by my journey because I am pretty sure this was realistic because I don't think I overachieved something I did something like really magically amazing I try my best to do whatever I'm doing it's just really difficult you know especially in this time to be stable it's really difficult and I wish I can make a life with this. I can make a life with YouTube or Instagram or I don't know. I really, really love video editing and creating. Um, the reason why I went into social media is that I just really, really wanted to study filmmaking. However, in America, filmmaking department, the university is really, really expensive and I have no income to pay it. My family cannot pay it. And there's no one I know who can pay it for me. So the only reason I went into social media industry, I just wanted to be able to pay my tuition. I just wanted to be able to pay my university. I just wanted to have a proper education in filmmaking. I just wanted to be a director. And I still do. But it's really difficult and um, it's been almost two years. I've, I haven't gotten what I need, but that's okay. I'm doing my best. I'm still trying. Um, thank you for watching. 
thank you for being here i really appreciate your comments i really appreciate your support this this makes me feel so so good because i don't have many friends to talk and be intimate and my best friends are really far away they don't have time to call me or sometimes i don't have to call them recording myself has been really healing me because um, I feel like I'm talking to a friend, a friend who knows how to listen. <laughs> um, yeah, again, thank you for being here. I will see you in the next video, hopefully.